Trey Lance's stock is soaring, and he's balling out at training camp, so it's a perfect time to get yourself a Trey Lance jersey. We have you hooked up with a link thanks to our friends at Fanatics. Go to chatsports.com slash Trey. Get yourself a Trey Lance jersey before the start of the regular season. You're watching the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. Hope Niner Gang is having a great week. You know who's having a great week and a great training camp? Trey Lance. Yesterday at practice, really provided everybody with the highlight of training camp so far. Got flushed out of the pocket, rolled to his left, unleashed a 50-yard deep bomb, an absolute dime to Trent Sherfield off of his back foot, and just caused everybody to go to Twitter and say, man, this guy is legit. He has a special skill set. Also, got a first-team rep yesterday at training camp. He's been displaying accuracy, a little bit of a knock on him coming out of North Dakota State, but he's kind of refined his mechanics a little bit. He's posing a different threat to the defense. Dico D'Amico Ryans has complimented that and saying that, hey, Trey Lance really, really running the football very effectively. And as of right now, he is pressuring Jimmy Garoppolo to become the team's number one starting quarterback. So let's explore all of that here on the 49ers Report. So on Tuesday at training camp, Trey Lance in Santa Clara in the shadows of Levi Stadium completed his first 14 passes of the day, ended up going 14 of 15 on the day. Got that first team rep that I was talking about. It was a designed run. Kyle Shanahan talked about that. I think that's an indication that you could see Kyle Shanahan debuting a run package in this offense for Trey Lance if Jimmy G is the starter. And that beautiful deep ball downfield showing off arm strength, athleticism, accuracy, and a dynamic ability that Jimmy Garoppolo does not have. We're just being honest, chomping it up here on the 49ers report. Here's what Trent Sherfield, who caught that deep ball, had to say about Trey Lance. He's a baller, man. He can play. Dre Greenlaw of the defense also taking notice of what Lance is doing. Best arm I've seen, hands down. Ryan Clark of ESPN saying this, San Francisco 49ers day one starter is going to be Trey Lance. I don't have any sources. I'm just reading the blades of grass. And I think Ryan Clark is on to something. This is something that I've been talking about for a while here on the channel. If Trey Lance is playing well, if he's ready to play, he will be your starter week one. You don't waste the upside. Get him that experience right from the jump. And at the end of the day, this is what Trey Lance is doing. He's handling what's being put on his plate. He is doing his job. He's getting a lot and the majority, if not all, of the second team reps. What is he doing with them? He's maximizing his opportunities in those situations. He's showing off the accuracy and the fine-tuned mechanics. He's letting it rip when he does make a decision, which there haven't been many. He's not displaying fear after that. He'll unleash some rockets and let it rip, and I like that confidence coming from a rookie quarterback. Also hitting the playbook hard. Peter King reporting that the 49ers gave iPads out to all of the players, and they're able to track the amount of time those players are on those iPads. You know who's been on his iPad the most looking at the playbook? Trey Lance. And one of the best things and one of the most important things that I like from Trey Lance, he just exudes confidence, and I think that is contagious for his teammates, but also they see that, and they're like, this guy is a baller. This guy has it. And if they have confidence in him as a rookie, very important for this team that's ready to compete for a Super Bowl if they're healthy this year. The cool, calm, and collected nature of Trey Lance, all qualities that starters possess. So grade Trey Lance in training camp so far up to this point. I understand it's early, only a couple days so far in pads, but in that short sample size, Trey Lance has been cooking. A, B, C, D, or F, grade Trey Lance so far in training camp. Nick Wagner, 49ers reporter for ESPN, had this to say about the dynamic dual threat ability that Trey Lance has been displaying. A sequence for 49ers quarterback Trey Lance took first team reps with starters. It was a designed run. Then with two plays, uh, a few, uh, with the twos, excuse me, a few plays later, broke pocket contain and delivered the best throw of camp on the run deep downfield to wide receiver Trent Sherfield for a long touchdown. I've talked about this and alluded to it a couple times here on the channel. Trey Lance and his dual threat nature being able to basically complete passes at all three levels of the field, but also pull it down and pose a different threat to the defense of running the ball on design runs and RPOs really changes the entire complexion, the entire look, and the predictability of Kyle Shanahan's offense. And since he came to San Francisco, he hasn't had a quarterback with that skill set. 
kind of a little bit like Colin Kaepernick in terms of the running ability, but Trey Lance, a much better and refined passer. Also, at the very least, even if Jimmy Garoppolo starts week one and Trey Lance is the backup, Kyle Shanahan is already flirting and already implementing running plays on the first team offense for Trey Lance. So at moments of the game, if Jimmy G does end up being the starter earlier on in the season and Trey Lance doesn't upset him for that role, I think we'll still see Trey Lance pulling down the rock and running it. I'm going to continue to stay on this stance. If Trey Lance is ready to start week one, he is going to start. And there is some momentum right now working in that favor. You don't waste Trey Lance's talent. You don't waste an opportunity to develop him. You don't want to damage his confidence if he's not ready to play because if his confidence is shot, that could affect his play moving forward. But if he is confident enough in the playbook, in himself, and he's playing well, there are so many great supporting weapons around him, a great head coach. I think Trey Lance can play very well and effectively as a rookie. I also want to hit on this. Are the 49ers hyping up Jimmy G's trade value? There are some other teams across the National Football League who are quarterback needy. The other day, we talked about the Indianapolis Colts. I think there's something to be said for this. Let's explore it a little bit. John Lynch on Adam Schefter's podcast said this. This is classic. Let's increase the leverage of our starting quarterback to help ourselves out in the trade market. Jimmy Garoppolo, John Lynch said to Adam Schefter, is playing his best football since he's been here. And really throughout training camp, Jimmy Garoppolo has been good. He's not been great, not doing anything special. Joe Banner, former general manager in the league, quote tweeted what John Lynch said on the podcast and said this. This is a guy in Joe Banner who has a lot of experience in NFL front offices. This means that they are getting closer to being ready to move Jimmy G and they want to create as much value as possible. I agree with that stance. Because if Lance is ready to play, you play him. And if you can get really good players or assets back for Jimmy G while clearing some of his base salary off the books to maybe pay a guy like Nick Bosa, you do it. John Lynch on Trey Lance. He's been impressed like everybody else has, saying this. He's looked tremendous. He really has. The way he's approached the job, he has been a true pro. Here's our updated list on some of our Jimmy G trade destinations. Carson Wentz out with that foot injury. Colts atop that list. Washington football team. I think that Ryan Fitzpatrick is a quality player, but there's a reason that he's a backup because he's so up and down. Houston Texans, arguably one of the worst situations at the quarterback spot without Deshaun Watson. That roster, not good. They could look for a starter in Jimmy G. And the Denver Broncos, Teddy Bridgewater, as well as Drew Locke. Are they better than Garoppolo? I don't think so. They have a ready-to-win-now defense with some good weapons on that offense. I think Denver could be in the market for Jimmy G, possibly, if Locke or Bridgewater don't play well. Niner gang, predict it for me. Who will be the week one starter, excuse me, for the Niners against the Detroit Lions? Type JG for Jimmy Garoppolo. Type TL for Trey Lance. Get those votes in in the comment section. So if you're not a gambling degenerate like me, you're just doing it wrong. I cannot wait to bet on some football games, and you already know I'm going to be putting down some cash during the NFL preseason because that's just what I do. You want to call me a degenerate? You can be, but it sure is fun and makes the games much more exciting, especially in the preseason. 49ers kicking off the preseason slate next Saturday, August 14th against the Kansas City Chiefs. Really can't wait to see how some of these starters and backups play because the roster position battles, very, very good in camp. Right now, entering the game, 49ers one and a half point favorites. I'm not really going to put money on that because it's just so unpredictable with all the backups playing. But how about the over-under at 36 and a half? I kind of dig that. NFL Rookie of the Year odds. Speaking of Trey Lance, Lance has vaulted up to number two right behind Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence leading the pack among all NFL rookie quarterbacks at plus 225. Trey Lance at plus 500, so five to one odds there. Justin Fields right behind him at plus 550. And Zach Wilson at plus 650. I think five to one is really pretty solid value for Trey Lance. And here's the good news. If you want a 125% deposit bonus, best deal out there among any sports book, we got you covered thanks to our sports book partner, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash 49bet, that link at the bottom of your screen. When you're there, plug in the promo code NINERS125, 125% deposit bonus, meaning you deposit $100, you get $225 back to either bet 
on the NFL preseason, rookie of the year odds, or you can save it for the start of the NFL regular season. Trent Sherfield, really impressing a lot of people at 49ers training camp in Santa Clara. Let's break it down. So this is a guy that came to the Niners in the offseason after signing a one-year deal, only $200,000 of guaranteed money. In the past three seasons with Arizona, you didn't really see him featured a lot at wide receiver. Only caught 28 balls during that span. But he provides the 49ers value and really himself value because he's been able to excel on special teams with the Cardinals, and I think he'll be in the special teams rotation with the 49ers. That improves his chances of making the 53-man roster. But could he be used more than just a special teams ace? I think that could be in play. Maybe wide receiver, wide receiver, uh, wide receiver three, wide receiver four. Let's break it down. So Jimmy G on Trent Sherfield in camp so far. Trent's been very reliable. He really has. He's been out there sharp every day. He's on his stuff. And as a quarterback, that's the main thing you could ask for from a receiver. He's got to be on his stuff and in the spot you expect him to be. Sherfield has. Special teams coordinator Richard Hightower also taking notice of Trent Sherfield early on in training camp, saying this. He's a really good player on special teams, and really what's crazy about it is you always respect the player from afar. He's a guy that's in here at 5.30 every morning, that's in the steam room, taking care of his body. He's in the sauna. Sauna, he does extra. He's a pro's pro. He's bringing guys along. There is no secret. Now, being around the guy, he fits right into our culture, and we're really happy to have him. The wide receiver three, wide receiver th uh, four spots, they're totally up for grabs. Can Jalen Hurd stay healthy? Mohamed Sanu getting off to a good start in training camp as well. But if you can play a, uh, pay a player cheap and have him under team control for only $200,000 of guaranteed money, plus he's somewhat young at age 25, and he's also giving you special team snaps, that works in the favor of Trent Sherfield. And I think in their evaluations, the 49ers saw his potential up against a division rival in the Arizona Cardinals, and they said, okay, this guy hits the open market. We can take a chance on him, bet on some upside, pay him cheap, and he can fill a variety of roles for this team on offense as well as special teams. Speaking of that, I think the hype is real for him to compete for wide receiver three as well as wide receiver four. I like Jalen Hurd's athletic prowess. The guy is an athletic freak, but he hasn't been able to stay healthy. Back injury, ACL, back-to-back -back years, hasn't appeared in a regular season game, has only played in one game. Mohamed Sanu is in his uh, early 30s, right? Much older. Why not take a chance on a guy with some upside who's only 25 years old, once again on the cheap? So will Trent Sherfield make the 53? Let me know in the comment section, predicted for me. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Be sure to get those votes in in the comment section down below and let us know if you think Sherfield will make the final 53. Some other training camp notes to get to. D Ford coming off a series of injuries. Only played in a handful of games since signing that monster contract with the 49ers. Is looking good. That's very positive news coming off the back and neck stuff. He's been competing in 11 on 11s. And there was a play yesterday on Tuesday where he rushed and flushed Trey Lance out of the pocket and chased him down toward the sideline. Same can be said for Jalen Hurd coming off the back and the ACL injuries. Yesterday on Tuesday, after having a couple of rest days, took part in fully padded team trills. If this guy's on the field, because he's a dynamic player, man, he could be an excellent weapon in Kyle Shanahan's offense. Aziz Al-Shahir, a couple days ago, very good linebacker for this team, went down with a knee injury, nothing major as of right now. The Niners are going to take it week to week. They're hoping that it's nothing serious, and there's promising news on that front. Also, Jimmy Ward, over time, has become a very undervalued and underrated safety. His career got off to somewhat of a rocky start with the Niners. Last couple of years, I think he's been one of the more consistent options at safety, especially considering what the Niners are paying him. According to all accounts, flying around in training camp, giving this defense a serious edge. Niner gang, subscribe to the 49ers report. We're going to continue to... Bring you training camp updates, the latest news and rumors, live shows every Thursday. We were off last week because of the NBA draft tomorrow. I'm back, baby, 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific. Any breaking news happens, we got you covered. And let's get the 40,000 subscribers ASAP. Chicago Bears now kind of on our ass a little bit. Got to distance ourselves because Trey Lance, much better than Justin Fields. Smash that subscribe button down below or go to YouTube.com slash 49ers TV.